So, so yes, today we're going to talk about the simplest membership sales process. So it sounds like, again, this is going to help a lot of people. And uh, I was able to use this at my six locations in Southern California, which Freddie, I know you're out there. It's a very competitive market. There's a lot of gyms. Um, and so you got to really dial in your system so that your clients have the best experience possible with you. And I'm a firm believer that one of the best things we can do as owners is find ways to remove friction, not only for our team, but also for our clients. And uh, the analogy I'll give you is think of a brick wall. Every step that I have to work to, to take to work with you is another brick. And the more steps, the higher this wall gets to the point where I almost got to vault over a giant wall because it's a 20 step sales process. So literally one exercise I would urge everyone to do is to write down step-by-step step what the client has to do to become a member and figure out how many steps was that, right? So from opting in step one to getting on the phone with you, step two to driving to the gym, step three, and then fill out the waiver, step four. And like, it can quickly become a 20 step process where you built a 20, a, a brick wall, 20 bricks high, and let's get that thing down to three bricks so I can literally just step over it. I don't need that vaulting pole. I can just step right over your wall and it was easy to do business with you. The friction is low. Lots of bricks, the friction's high. And the same applies to your team. We're trying to remove friction from our team. If our team can't complete tasks, we need to help them with their time management. That's a brick wall for them that they're just hitting their head against over and over. Um, they're not able to overcome cancellations, right? A client comes up to them and says, I want to cancel or freeze. And they're fumbling with their words and they don't know what to say. We need to take the time to train them and give them the scripts and do the role play so that that brick wall does not become their uh, you know worst enemy and become this thing that stops you from growing. So today's brick wall that we're tackling is obviously your membership sales process. How to make it simple and scalable because the way I was able to do it at six gyms, I had to make it so simple my least skilled person can execute it. Because if your sales system means you need to have a, like a really charismatic, outgoing, good salesperson, it's actually a very high, uh, like volatile sales process. It's not simple. Think of making it McDonald's. Like they can hire teenagers all around the world and make their burgers and make them taste the same. They made it scaled down to their lowest skilled worker, not scaled up to their highest skilled worker, right? And so that's how you want all your processes to be. Can your sessions be led by the lowest skilled coach? And we're not making fun of anyone or calling anyone this, but like it helps you sleep at night knowing my sy systems are so simple. Anybody can do it. And that way this thing can run like clockwork, right? So we're, again, we're going to zone in more on the membership, but I'm just saying this thought process, this mindset goes to every system in your business. Don't just stop here, go everywhere with it. So essentially... I'm gonna dive into this training next. Um, so this this membership sales process that we use at these gyms that helped me get out of six locations was something that I just coined the auto enroll membership sales process. And what I would liken it to is any streaming service, whether it's Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, or let's even think music, Spotify, these types of things. Most of them give you a free trial that rolls over into a paid subscription. So they say, hey, you get a month free, watch all the movies you want on Netflix, and then your $17.99 begins. Listen to music as much as you want on Spotify, and then your $9.99 begins. And so they do trial to membership, same thing we, we want to do, right? Um, and so if it's a six-week challenge that you guys do, or a 21-day trial, or a free-week pass, all of those are just masking the same concept. I want to let you try it out, try before you buy. I'm going to let you try it out, and then you're going to commit long-term. And honestly, I think if that is your process, it works great. But Rob, what I love about your confidence and what I tend to see in people the longer they do this is their confidence gets so high and their conviction gets so high, they can at one point bypass trials and they can sell people DTM, I call it direct to membership. Because let's face it, that's where you're going to make the biggest impact on someone is when they really commit to the long haul and they commit to working with you for a year plus. That's a year of change. That's a year of really transformation no trial is really going to transform someone forever. It's a temporary transformation. But again, if your systems work really well, we don't want to like change things. I just know that that's what happens when that high charismatic owner or manager steps into sales. They could just sell someone straight to membership. So screw the trial, screw the challenge. Like I'm going to sell you a membership. Usually again, to, to drop it to the lowest skilled person, we do want to sell trials and challenges because that makes it easier. 
for that entry level person or that salesperson to get wins. Like they don't have the same conviction as the owner. And that's why, again, most owners will go this. It reduces the fear for the client. It reduces the fear for the team. And then a sale can happen. Owner's not even on site. Wonderful. Let's keep scaling it, right? So the way that this auto enroll membership works is you do sell them, but think about it in this phrase. I want you guys to just remember, uh, we want to go policy over pitch. All right. That's the big kind of way to remember this, that like when I'm, when I'm quality checking my team or I'm telling them to pitch me, I say, when you share membership, it has to come across like a policy, not like a pitch because a pitch gets people clammy and sweaty. And like, they're thinking they're stressing out. Oh my God, am I going to close this deal? Am I going to get the commission? Am I going to cost the, the business EFT pitches and sales is like slimy words to people in the fitness industry, especially coaches. They do not feel good pitching and selling. And they're like, Oh, I, a lot of them quit corporate gyms and come and work at mom and pop gyms because they didn't like how sales heavy and how pitchy they are. So what is really easy for anyone to t tell someone is a policy. A coach can share a policy, an admin, a manager, an owner. We all can share policies and our heart rate will not increase. We will not get sweaty and climby. We'll just say, hey, that's how it goes. That's the policy. No kids running on the floor. They have to be over here in our kids zone, right? Um, you can't be more than five minutes late. That's the policy. Otherwise, you have to wait for the next session. We say these things and we're very calm and it doesn't make us nervous. But when it turns to pitching, we're like, uh oh, now there's money on the line. I'm freaking out. So what I love about the auto enroll is it is a policy update. It is not a pitch. And I'll kind of explain what that means here in a sec. So the way we do it, and I'll, I'll come back to this process in a sec, is we have two versions. So one is very similar to like how you were mentioning, Freddie, and then one is a little different. So one version of the auto enroll is someone buys a trial, they come to the gym, and you basically explain all of your uh, policies at, at one point during this, this onboarding or this orientation. So let's check off the things that you're going to probably do. You're probably going to say, welcome in. Let me tell you about what we do. And you're going to explain your concept. Is it group training? Is it one-on-one? -on -one? Is it Pilates? You're going to give them the rundown and you're going to probably give them a little bit of a gym tour, right? There's the bathroom. Here's where you put your stuff. The kids can hang out over here. Gym tour complete. Now we're going to talk to them about signing up and we get them into our trial or our six week challenge and we do their onboarding steps. So you probably get them in an app so they can book sessions. You probably do an in-body and you know, now we're good. We're complete. So now this is where this comes in. This is like the final part of this whole onboarding process. You pitched what you do. You told them how it works. You even sold them the trial. And then you even completed the onboarding with the apps and the in-body. One more thing, Mrs. Jones, let me explain our auto enroll membership. So the number one question we always get is what does it cost after? Because people just want to know, right? After the trial or challenge ends. Well, I just want to tell you here on day one, so you're not thinking about it. And we we just know what it is from day one. Um, so to, com to continue with us, it's just $49 a week. That's my, you know, my boot camp rates. Um, and so you can cancel with us at any time during your challenge, but I just want you to know we're kind of like Netflix. After your trial or your challenge, you auto enroll, you subscribe into our membership automatically, and you can just opt out at any time by telling me you do not wish to continue. All you got to do is email me right here. And so I got my two locations and I put the name of the person. You just got to tell me. Um, and in fact, I don't want you to be stressing out that, you know, I, uh oh, I better remember to email them. Don't worry. We reach out to you halfway through on a six week challenge. We reach out to you week three and we confirm, hey, Remember back at orientation when I mentioned auto enroll, I just want to confirm you're good for it. I don't want you to get billed out of nowhere and get caught off guard. So like we will actually reach out to you. We're not trying to slide this by you. We reach out to you week three to confirm. And so here's the thing. And so this is more of the, the Freddie option. We, we do it either or with a checkbox. So we say, Hey, if this is okay with you and you approve of it, um, I want you to sign at the bottom of the, the agreement here but I'm going to basically give you $50 off your first month. And I'm going to give you four semi-private sessions um, with a coach. If you say yes today at orientation, this is your bonus. If you say no, you're simply saying, I choose to pay full price on my first month. I don't want a discount and I'm bypassing and I will not receive the four small group sessions. And so that's that. And then we have them basically circle one of these boxes. Uh, I could have sworn there was like a checkbox that they just checked, but that's basically what the agreement looks like. And then all of our, you know, cancel and freeze policy, and then they sign it. So this is the either or option. 
Um, it's labeled the incentive agreement, which means if you sign up with me here at orientation, you get this, if you don't choose it. So at this version, you're giving the person an option. What we eventually evolved to was we cut out the little incentive and it was just a policy and everyone was forced to become an auto enroll membership and they just needed to sign that they acknowledge how it works. And that's that. And we got away from that because what this forced us to do is now we had to have two systems. What if they say yes? What if they say no? And it created confusion and it wasn't as simple as I liked it. So it made it a little simpler taking a step towards this direction. But the simplest was we eliminated the yes or no. We just told them it's policy. Everyone who buys a challenge is auto enrolled and you are auto subscribed to continue afterward. Unless you tell us otherwise, we still say we're going to reach out to you halfway through and confirm. Do you wish to continue that's your chance to say no, or you can reach out at any time during the challenge and say, this isn't a good fit for me. And the, the contract will never go through. We'll, we'll part ways and remain friends. Um, so that's essentially how it works. The final thing I just want to share, and then I'll kind of take a breather and let you guys answer your questions, is when I mentioned that it's a policy, not a pitch. So the way we explain it is we actually go through a couple policies that, and then lead into this one last. So that way we're kind of in a, in a rhythm with policies. So I say, Hey, Mrs. Jones, um, you know, just a couple final things here. I want to share our cancel and freeze policy. We have a 30 day notice. So if you ever cancel with us, uh, you just got to tell us 30 days in advance and we'll bill your last four weekly bills and then you're done. And you're, you're that's kind of how we do cancellation. So you can get out anytime. Um, do you got any questions about that? Yes, no. Cool. Well, freezes. Uh, we actually do freezes where your time, your, when you do freeze, you will get billed still, but your time will be added at the end of your agreement. So if you freeze for a month, your 12 month contract becomes a 13 month contract. And that 13th month, you won't be billed instead of, you know, freezing now. Um, and that's just so that, you know, again, you can make sure that you're locked in at your rate. If we freeze you, then we, we could possibly have to raise your rate if our rates go up. So let's just lock you in. Right. Um, so that is freeze. You got any questions? No. Cool. All right. Well, final thing I just want to share with you is our auto enroll. And so essentially when your challenge is over, you're going to auto enroll into 49 a week and you know, blah, blah, blah. We're going to check in with you halfway. Um, I just want you to know that's how it works. So if you could just sign on the dotted line here and we'll be, we'll be good. Um, so that is kind of how our team is able to do it and stay in policy mode is like, talk about kids not being allowed in a certain area. Talk about the late policy, talk about the cancel policy, and then go to auto enroll. And you're kind of in policy mode and their, their heart rate does not go up and they don't feel like I'm in sales mode. I feel like I'm just reading a list of policies to the customer and I'm just giving them the expectations of how we do business here. I'm telling you, admins have been able to close this way. Coaches have been able to close this way. General managers have been able to close this way. And nobody has felt like, like salesy or like, you know, stressed out explaining this to people. And I found it to be a very scalable and simple way to sell membership. So that's why I say policies over pitches. Pitches is I take you in the office, I lock the door and you and I are looking at each other eye to eye and you feel very like, you're being stared down. You feel like you're being intimidated. You feel like you're being, you know, bullied into getting a membership, but this, we kind of just talk about it at your orientation out in the open around a bunch of people, you know, it's very calming. And I just say, these are the policies that you should know when you're here training with us at our gym. So that is essentially how the team pitches it. You could go either way. If you like this incentive idea, um, we kind of got rid of the, uh, the incentive being like printed here, like basically everybody just gets the incentive as long as they continue on with the auto enroll. So it's like auto savings. You could call it like basically everybody gets $50 off and then we give them one month of small group training once their membership begins so they can test drive what it's like um, and possibly upgrade into that second tier service. So, um, so that is essentially like how we do the incentive. It's not that we took it away. We just automatically enroll everyone and we automatically give the same gift to everyone there is no opt out where you can say, I want to pay full price and I don't want to auto enroll at this time. So that was just some, uh, a change we made. So I'll pause right there before I go uh, to my other two documents to share with you guys around this process, but any questions around the auto enroll so far? Sure. Like that. Uh, we used to have that feature through the camp franchise a while back, something similar mm -hmm. to that. 
uh, with our 21 days into auto enrollment. For some reason, uh, they went away with it. Uh, yeah. But my question is, is that your $49 a week uh, versus monthly, I know you do get a lot more because um, we also have yes. a weekly, uh, we also have a weekly uh, $49.50 that we charge as well uh, mm -hmm. for the six week challenge um, yes. uh, that I do. It it is uh, a game changer, dude. Um, I'll I'll just do which is never a good idea. Public math, um, but if I do two hundred for easy numbers for twelve months, that client paid us twenty four hundred dollars, right? But we know there's fifty two weeks in a year, and if I charge them, right. let's call it fifty dollars a week, twenty six hundred. I made two hundred dollars more off that client by doing weekly. Mm -hmm. Two hundred dollars, no big deal. But let's multiply that by you having two hundred members or more. The business brought in forty grand more that year because you chose to bill weekly instead of monthly. Nothing yeah. changed in the business except the billing cycle. So that's. Let the me ask you a, 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 another question: Is uh, I don't know if uh, with your gyms, if you ever started off with weekly, or did you do monthly and then transition to weekly? Oh yeah, we started monthly, dude, because that's just kind of what is norm. And then I learned yeah. this, and I was like, oh my god! And so I did not go and change my existing clients, but I changed it for all new clients going forward. And we have no issues now. The gyms have hundreds of members, and everyone's on weekly. We started this though, like seven years ago. So it's been a long time, mm -hmm. but, um, just start making that shift and, uh, and where it really pays off, for example, is in this month, July, it's a five week month. So we bill on Mondays, I'll get five EFT draws where in June I got four and there's basically there's a hidden 13th month. Cause there's four months yeah. of the year or four, yeah, four months of the year that have five weeks that gives you a whole extra month of membership. And that's basically what it came out to, right? It's 2,400 and then 26. I got a full extra month because I pay, I, I bill weekly. So easy little yeah, uh For like us, we do the, uh, or I tested it out on our last, uh, I did like a test run on my own. I think I'm the only camp that did it. Mm -hmm. uh, Melissa's on board. I had her join us. She's one of the other camp owners in Laguna. Okay. Uh, but. I did a I did a test run uh, last month on our six week challenge. Uh, six week challenges for us is four ninety seven, okay. right? Uh, four ninety seven six weeks, blah blah blah. That's it. Uh, so I did a test run last month, and I and basically I, I signed up about fifteen people, uh, but I gave them twelve weeks, mm. and I did a hundred dollars down, and forty nine fifty a week for twelve weeks. So I basically ended up collecting about um it's almost done, but it's. Uh, going to be almost 700 bucks for those 12 weeks on that one client. And then they're already used to paying the 4950. Just keep it going. Yep. Keep it going. Exactly. Keep on the weekly, weekly, uh, weekly billing going. Exactly. Yeah. Cause people and don't so like when prices guys. go up and of course feels good when prices go down, but people getting used, if they can afford it for 12 weeks, they can afford it for 52 weeks, you know, like exactly, you know, they, yeah. they budget it 4950. So just keep it mm -hmm. going. So and then that that's kind of how you can package it. You're like, you know what, guys, good news. And you can throw stones. Most gyms do a challenge and then your price goes up. Not us. You're actually locked Not in. Us. We're going to give you the same price moving forward. And your membership is locked in. That's so, I'm, I'm so excited. And then again, you want to build in another elation kind of moment or ceremony or celebration. Mm -hmm. And so if you, if you do any kind of gift at a challenge, do a different gift when they become a member, you know, if, if you give them like a shaker cup on challenge. And then now you get a t-shirt because it just re invites, it re excites them about being a member. And then of course they're walking billboards for you. Um, but that that's another, cause you want it to be exciting. A lot of gyms shifting from challenge to membership is like, eh, like it's just, an, it's just Monday again. And it, there's nothing really like celebratory. So, you know, shout them out in a members group, give them a t-shirt, anything you can do to make it feel as exciting as when they bought that challenge, make it feel exciting to buy the membership too. Yeah. So basically uh, like what we did is we presented the six week challenge. Here's 47 for six weeks, everything that you're going to get out of those six weeks, you know, just hyped it up, blah, blah. And then you kind of like know right away if they're going to jump on it or not. Yep. And if they start to like ask questions, they start like, oh, you know what? Well, guess what? We have this other offer for you. It's only hundred dollars down, forty nine fifty a week. They're like, "Oh, that's it. Sign me up." And it's twelve weeks instead of six. I'll do it. Yes. I'm like, okay, perfect. At the end of the day, they ended up paying seven hundred bucks. But you know, yep. and since you're and a they, confident group closer, like this, like I know I 
share the how to do this one to one. You could absolutely do this as a group close. You give everybody mm -hmm. agreements and you group close everyone. Um, you always will have a little bit of a less closing percentage because there's people that got questions, but they're kind of shy to share it in front of the group. So they're going to bite their tongues and they're just going to mark no, or they're just not going to fill it out versus mm -hmm. one-to-one. -one, you can talk to every single person and address their concerns, you know? Yeah. I do like the auto enrollment though. Um, I wish I would have had that or thought of that uh, when I sold those 15 challenges, because now I think it's next week. I think is when my directors have to reach out to them and see if they want to continue. Blah, blah. If we had, would have that, we wouldn't have to worry about it. Yeah. It's auto enrolled. Yeah. Well, moving forward, man, that's that's the whole point of this. You implement it moving forward. Um, yep. Melissa, do you got any questions about this? Can you hear me? Oh. Yep. Well, now you switch to mute. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm there so sorry. Um, I'm just taking it in, and I like this idea. I'm not doing weekly enrollments right now, mm -hmm. but I think um, looking at this, you know, I, I'm feeling like a lot of facilities are doing weekly payments now, um, right up until this point, I've just been doing monthly and I like the fact that you're making it like a policy. Cause I do have a front desk associate and he is kind of shy and, yes. um, simple, you know, I'm obviously confident and, but not everyone is. And so mm -hmm. making it a policy type of enrollment versus, you know, trying yeah. to sell them. I yeah. like that a lot. Thank you for sharing, yeah. by the way. I appreciate for this, sure. uh, this yeah. webinar. Uh, because basically I was that charismatic sales guy, but then like hiring them, they were like unicorns. Like they were like one out of every 30 people we hired. I'm like, I can't scale my business. I need to make the shy front desk person able to sell. I need to make a coach that feels icky about sales able to sell. So how can I masquerade this to be acceptable to all personality types? And this was exactly that. So what I'll kind of go to next is the auto enroll like process. Again, this was uh, just built. I wanted to just cover all the different um, models because I know not everyone does things exactly the way I do it. So that's what this document is, is I'm assuming most of us sell a trial. Some don't, they go straight to appointment and they sell them a membership. So just swap out trial for appointment, but they're buying something so you either do one-to-one -one or group. So I'll go down each one individually. So let's say you're meeting with them one-to-one. -one. You mention the auto-enroll. Um, they say yes. And then at that point, we put them into our CRM's Fit Pro Tracker FPT. We put them into an, a campaign that every challenger goes through where it like, you know, reminds them to do their weekly weigh-in on Thursdays. And then it does a mindset um, Monday email. And so like they're just uh, cranking along. We don't need to do a reoffer, which is basically coming around to it a second time. If they said no, they already have been auto enrolled. And then we go into onboarding them into membership. So they get added into our members Facebook group. We give them their gift, which for us, it's a t-shirt. And then essentially we schedule them for what we call a blueprint, which is now an onboarding for small group and experiencing that for 30 days for free. So like we just want to build staircases of things that they get to go through and you know it's a client ascension so that is the yes kind of like format um there if they said no um we actually put them into a non-ae campaign which stands for auto enroll where they get a re-offer every wednesday and you know they get the challenge campaign just like the people who said yes they get the two emails but what are the re-offers well every wednesday we package it in a way where we're saying the same thing. Do you want to become a member, but we're putting a different spin on it. So the second week it, uh, on Wednesday, it says, Hey, I know I said discount only on orientation. I was able to finagle it a little, I can extend it, but you got to give me an answer this week. Do you still, do you want to auto enroll and become a member? If not, it's off the table this Friday. So we kind of give a little bit of grace and an extension. So that goes out the, the second week on Wednesday. Then the third, this is kind of a, a different mindset I would share with you guys. Sometimes people say no to the price because they don't want more reoccurring bills. People like know what their monthly expenses are and they don't want to add on to that. So I actually find, and this is mind blowing to a lot of people, you go to them with a paid in full and then they do sign up because that's giving them what they want. They want to become a member, but without the reoccurring bill. So say, hey, I know on the third week we say, hey, I figured out a way for you to save 10% on your membership. Can I call you and, and tell you all about it? 
And so basically say, Hey, I ran the numbers. Um, you know, it's normally 2,400, but you can get $240 off and only pay X if you pay in full, would you like to do that instead? And a good sales lesson I learned from Zig Ziglar is he said, new information requires a new decision. And the information you presented originally was, do you want to sign up for 200 a month? And I said, no, but now you're saying, do you want to pay in full? This is new information. I have to come to you with a new decision now. What, what do I say to the 2,100, you know, paid in full? Um, and then the final week, the, the way that it's scripted is what do we need to do to get you to stay? And we kind of leave it open-ended to give the, the ball in their court and say, what, what, what do you need to stay within our fit fam? Because we want you to stay here. You tell me what you need. And sometimes the ask is within reason. And sometimes it's outrageous. They're like, I need $99 a month. All right. Well, sorry, that's not our gym. Um, thank you for coming and doing the challenge, but uh, you know, like the door's open for you to return. And some of them, they're like, I, I really would like to just get 10, 20 bucks off a month. And, you know, again, it's all about like these scales. So like, if I'm going to give, I need to get. So it's like, cool, I'll I'll drop our price 20 bucks. I can give it to you for 180, but you got to sign up for an 18 month contract. Can you do that? Right. So it's like, I'll work with you. If you work with me, you commit longer. That gives me safety knowing your EFT is going to be around a lot longer. So that's kind of where we go into like a little bit of sales and haggling mode. If you went with, you know, the option where it's a yes, no uh, sheet versus the everyone comes in and gets auto enrolled. I built out this process to have the yes and no side of things. And again, notice here, it's agnostic to how you do orientations. They buy a trial and they go to one-on-one -on -one, or they buy a trial and they go to group. Both get pitched auto enroll. And then these columns are, how, what do you do after they respond? And this is again, why we went to just like eliminating the yes or no. Like basically our sales process is this top four brackets. That's it, right? Buy a trial, one-on-one -on -one in group, auto enroll, done. There is no column. So it did evolve, but I wanted to share both based on what you're comfortable with. Cause some owners like the yes and no sheet. And some are just like, I'm getting on board with the, you know, everybody gets auto enrolled. It has to scale to your abilities and your comfort level and your, the way you do things. Um, so I always say to the people that are like, can I get the replay? Do I have to show up live to, you know, your webinars, Dustin? The people who show up live get extra bonuses. So the people who watch the replay, you're going to get the video. The people who came in live, you guys, you're going to get all these documents that I'm showing you. I'm going to save the PDFs and send them to you. And Kath's been making notes of who came live. And so that's why I always incentivize people show up live to my calls because it'll be well worth your time. You know, um, the other folks, you have to send me an offer of how much you're willing to pay for it because we put a lot of money and time and energy into this. And, uh, you know, you're going to have to spend money to get these resources. The others will get it free. <laughs> um, so final things down here that I want to share with you guys is there's a discovery call script. So like, you know, calling the person, the lead and selling them. Um, we have an eight point discovery call, like, which is eight questions. What's your fitness goal? Why are you motivated now? Why not six months ago? Do you live nearby? Cause of what you can save yourself a lot of pain and heartache is finding out they're three cities away. And it's just like, let's step the call now. You know, if you, you don't ever come over here, you got in our system somehow. Um, what else have you tried up to this point? Do you have a habit of putting others before yourself, which are kind of guilting them into saying yes um what has been your biggest struggle up until this point workouts nutrition accountability or all of it um what does success look like to you um and then do you need someone to hold you accountable to working out weekly and so it's all like good questions to prime them up for a sale right so that's our eight question discovery call then i gave you guys uh what we call the five by two um it's a follow-up series of when someone opts in they get these five texts one a day but it's called five by two because every day in the first five days, you should reach out to them twice. One being a text, one being a phone call. So that's the two reach outs. Two reach outs a day for five days is the five by two. And so I, I'm going to give you guys the text script. You just got to build in an automation to prompt you or your salesperson to also call this person. You know, that's what our sales reps do at Gym Reinforcements. Um, then the orientation uh, instructions, how to run an orientation if you're doing group. Um, we have a, 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 a whole thing about that, um, a sales script and how to like literally word the pitch for the auto enroll. I just set it for memory. And then the agreement template is here as well, which obviously you guys can change it out to be the name of your gym and all that good stuff. And, you know, just things to do before orientation. Again, I don't got to share with you guys the camp. You guys are orient group orientation masters, but this is intimidating to a lot of people who've never done one. 
um, but like what to do before, you know, for us, we send them reminders before, uh, we also like to send personalized video, uh, I'm, you know, this is more for a one-on-one, not for a group, but like, Hey, Susan, I'm so excited to meet you at 8am. You know, I'm making a little selfie video and I'm sending it to her. So she has a face to look for when she walks in. I want to greet her at the door. I want to help her set up her app and help her book her first session. I want to take her to the in-body and then I want to take her into the office to talk nutrition and then in there, we're going to talk about our goals. I'm going to do my auto-enroll pitch and then uh, any nutrition materials you guys give them, whether it's, you know, recipe books, macros. And then when it's over, I want to put her, if she said yes, into my uh, challenge campaign. If she said no, she needs to go into the challenge campaign and the non-auto-enroll campaign so she gets an offer every Wednesday. Um, and then I'm, we have a spreadsheet where we track all of our trials called the Trial Tracker. And then uh, just... To kind of keep the team plugged in, they have to drop in the result of every sale for accountability in their team's group chat. Like, hey, my 8 a.m. said yes. My 10 a.m. said think about it. And that way I have eyes on it and the, the general manager, you know, is reporting as well. Um, and then here is the actual scripting in the non-auto enroll campaign. So like what, you know, all the reoffers I mentioned, like, hey, second chance, do you want to get your $50 off? Um, hey, do you want to do paid in full? And hey, oh, we really don't want to keep you. What can we do to help you say yes to membership? So this is all worded so you guys can just snatch and grab it and put it into your uh, texting platform. Um, so so yeah, so that is all here in the auto enroll membership process. So you guys are good to go. And the final thing, I mean, again, this is basic for most people who've done sales, but for people who haven't, it's very helpful. And it's just the entire sales script, but broken up into sections. So the professional greeting to you sharing your origin story. A lot of times we want to go right to them, but they don't know if they can trust you yet. And they don't know who you are and why you're an authority. And so like, I even started this call. Hey guys, just so you know, if you don't know, I used to own six gyms. So immediately, you know, I'm one of you, I'm a gym owner. Well, let them know why you're, you know, in fitness. Is it that you lost weight and you had a transformation story? Um, are you, you know, someone in your family had diabetes and now you decided I want to help people not have diabetes? What is your mission? What is your cause for being here? So I get bought in on you and then I'll switch it and want to share my story, right? And I'll be probably more open and vulnerable if you kind of get a little bit more open and vulnerable yourself, right? So we can kind of match that. So um, fitness goals, we talk about that. What have they done in the past? Um, what's their motivation? If this was covered on the discovery call, we're just recapping it. I can get my notes and say, oh, you talked to Mike and he said, you've already tried this and your goal is that. Is that all correct? We still want to revisit it with them in the gym now that they're in that environment and make them feel you know, the excitement about what we're going to do. We want to create vision with clear action steps. So this is where we're going. This is the promised land. And these are the three to five steps that we need to do to get there. And then um, basically, we brought this up earlier, build immense value, stack it up, make it super valuable, and then make the pitch and close the deal. Again, the verbiage in here when it comes to the you know auto enroll is not in a pitch. It's like, let's get you signed up. Let me share our policies so that you know what they are and you can make an informed decision, right? And they would do like the policy version of it um, and then some objection handling so uh, what do you say when they want to think about it or price is the objection or the spouse or you know schedule and time like again I know I could easily sell this script but this is something that I like to share to you guys for uh, attending the webinar so you'll get all these documents sent to you uh, in pdf format and you guys will be good to go so that is the simplest membership sales process that I've developed after 13 years of being a gym owner and 20 years as a trainer. Um, it, it's very simple, but trust me, I tried many, many versions and they did not work as well. So I can stand by this one and say this one works if you execute on it. Um, but guys, any final questions as we wrap up here? Anything that you want to clarify? Oh, man, I definitely, uh, definitely love all the information, man. It's always... Uh... Uh, something new that we learn. Uh, I love watching all your videos, all your stuff, man. I've learned so much from you. I actually wish Thank I you. could make it to your Florida event, brother, but I'm out on vacation that weekend. Oh, and, uh, we should to have Florida for vacation. I know, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, hey, maybe another time because we definitely another got time more for sure, yeah. planned. Yeah. And uh, and next time I go out and visit my team in Cali, I'll definitely hit you up too and see if we can connect. Definitely. I'll stop by.
So that'd be awesome. Thank you right. so much. I just found out about you today through Freddie because I was calling him about some things and we were discussing and he's like, Hey, there's this guy and he's going to do um, a webinar. And I was like, okay, I, I awesome. love Freddie. He's awesome. And thank you. you I just yeah. learned a bunch from you sure. as well. I look wow. forward to hearing you in the further and future and hopefully attending one of your seminars with Freddie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Glad to help. And I, I, I hope both of you guys are in, I'm putting in the chat, the group we have for gym owners and then over my shoulder. I also got a book on Amazon called reinforce your gym where uh, I share a bunch of sales, marketing and leadership tips. So um, grab a copy if you guys need I'm one. Buy it today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. Freddie represented. Nice. Love it. Got it. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much. I will talk to you guys soon. And if you guys have any topics that you want to request to be on an upcoming webinar, send me a DM on Facebook because I'm always like accepting those ideas and then I'll build them into my calendar. So, um, all right. You guys have a good Friday and a good weekend. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you. Guys. thank you. Later. Bye-bye.